and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show Cape Town Edition. You've seen us in Cape Town CBD all the way up to Constantia to Val DV and we are now right here in Bloberg's Rund. And ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know, this is the new up and coming IT suburb. If you want to live in Cape Town but you don't want all the noise, all the traffic, all the people, this has got the best of everything while being still super, super close to Cape Town. This has come from a quaint fishing village in 1806 and has been built up to include some of the most beautiful houses you'll be seeing. And this crown jewel in that is the home you see behind me right now. Three bedrooms, four bathrooms, one of those being a guest bathroom plus so many other features. So I want you to follow me and let me show you exactly what living in this area offers you. Let's go. And walking in to this beautiful home, the first thing you'll notice is the sense of scale, of epicness, of grandeur when you stand in front of this spiral staircase ringed off with stainless steel balustrades. Right in front of me is a massive window giving you nothing but a clear view of the sky and plenty and plenty of light. And then to top it off, the cherry on the cake, if one may, is this incredible chandelier above me. When you've made it, you're living in homes like this. But we've got a lot to talk about. The home spans all the way to my left as well as to my right. And I didn't want to spoil the surprise, so I had to close this up. So let's start over here where all the living areas are. Let's talk about the kitchen. Let's talk about what makes this home so fantastic. Let's tour it. Let's go upstairs to the bedroom. And you guys can let me know in the comments when you want to move in. Let's go. And walking to your left, you'll find yourself within your living areas. This right here being the lounge and what a place to be this is. I love how big it is. I love how much space there is. I love the wood flooring that I see is quite interestingly common within expensive Cape Town homes. A lot of people with taste evidently like these really nice matte wood floors. I absolutely love it. I can see why they do. Sitting back here, you can see just how much you can fit in without it feeling cramped. Now, wrapping around though is one of my favorite features. And let me also mention aircon right there, but what a fireplace, wrought iron, fire crackling away, but also fully enclosed, so there's no smell or fire within the home whatsoever. This house smells incredible, smells like roses, smells like the flower arrangements actually, of which there is one right here. Moving off to this side, you'll find your dining room area, and really every home has to have at least one fault, and I guess this dining room area might not be the biggest, but one must make, make do with what they have, no. Guys, this is the dining room area, absolutely stunning, framed with glass everywhere and giving you views of the ocean, as well as of Table Mountain. Across the corner here, you can see Table Mountain peeking out of the clouds, but on a clear day, it offers unobstructed views. It also has a sliding door, giving you an approximation of indoor-outdoor living, even though you are quite high off the ground. I love how it's done, and there is a safety balustrade there as well, so you don't need to worry. Really nicely done, but it continues, because right over here, in this kitchen, and a stunning kitchen this is, there is this gigantic kitchen island, which can also serve as a breakfast nook. Now, the top of this kitchen island is a thick piece of quartz, plenty of undercounter storage as usual, beautiful down lighting, illuminating what you need. But let's talk about the kitchen because on this side is really where the magic happens. We've got a built-in liquor or wine rack. Coming over this side, we've got our chef's sink, which is a must in any exclusive home. Beautiful, beautiful taps as well, I believe, Hunts Grow. Then over here, we've got a Bosch electric stove top as well as Bosch extractor. And then over there, I was wondering where that is, is your Bosch oven and microwave. 
Over here on my right hand side, a display cabinet which is internally lit that I really enjoy. Frosted glass at the bottom, clear glass at the top, under counter storage all the way across and then there is a scullery slash pantry right in front of me. Let's take a look at that. Now this is the area where you'll house your fridge as well as your other kitchen appliances such as your dishwasher and washing machine. What's really done nicely here is because it is an open scullery, you have shelves and cupboards that will hide those appliances away. So you do keep that nice clean look which is so important in kitchens as fantastic as this. Within the scullery you'll also find your double sink again with another handscrew tap. And now that we've covered this half of this home, let's move through over here because the first thing you will notice is this is a fully enclosed entertainment area. The doors behind me shut for you to have a good time with all friends and family that do visit. On my right hand side, beautiful countertops, quart countertop with your very own sink here for you to do washing up while you are mixing drinks and your drinks are displayed in all their glory. Down lighting in all the cabinets really does add that final touch. We've got speakers in the ceiling, catering to all of your entertainment needs right over here a good reading desk or even if you just want some time away in some quiet where nobody's using this perfect place for some lighting some fresh air if you crack open these windows and here we are within the lounge area or another lounge area where you can kick back watch some sports on television and enjoy the sea views and talking about sea views walking out of this stackable sliding door, aluminum frame, which really does help with the wear and tear, specifically when you've got the ocean right there. This is where it's at if you want those sea views. 180 degrees of the ocean on this beautiful wooden deck. Plenty of space here, as you can see, for outside entertainment. Massive lounge suite really doesn't make you feel cramped or just funneled into a box. And right here, I'm about that close to falling into this stunning heated pool. But wrapping around, we've got a sliding door here, again, aluminum trimmed, and we find ourselves within the downstairs guest bedroom. Now, if your friend gets by a chaseid, and you don't want to put him anywhere else, you can tuck him away here. I'm sure he's going to find himself very comfortable. You can see a couch fits here with no problem whatsoever, and then a massive, almost wall-to-wall -wall window looking out onto that stunning ocean. Now, this bedroom as well comes with its own ensuite bathroom. Let's talk about that. Let's wrap around back into the living areas. Let's talk about the guest bathroom, and then it is all the way up that stunning spiral staircase, and we'll take a look at what the top floor has to offer. The downstairs guest bathroom includes a walk-in shower and a massive one at that glass framed looks exceptionally lovely. Then you've got your two basins, so two separate sinks as well as a massive mirror under counter storage and then your toilet tucked off nice and privately in the corner. Now your guest bathroom is located just through the front doors to the right and it includes a floating toilet as well as your very own private vanity and is perfectly tucked away from prying eyes. And here we are, the first bedroom we're gonna show you upstairs makes a perfect child's room as it is calibrated right now, an office or even a small spare bedroom. No bathroom ensuite, the bathroom is just across the hallway which can service anybody upstairs. 
Now, you may be asking me, Chad, what is somebody just doing wandering around upstairs? And what they might be doing is what I'm about to do right now, and that is come over here and open this door which leads out onto a beautiful long balcony giving you uninterrupted sea views, 180 degrees. The Cape Town Ocean, as usual, is fantastic. Although the weather today might not be, but out, out there, Simba, in the dark bit, that there is Cape Town CBD. But we've wrapped this up. Let's walk our chair, let's stretch all the way to the left-hand side of the house. Let's show you what's over there. And then we come back to the creme de la creme, the master suite. Now, when talking about the only bathroom that isn't located on suite, I promise you no expense has been spared. Beautiful taps, double vanities, massive mirror giving you all the light and all the reflection you could ever need. Frosted glass doors cover all of the under counter storage. And then to your right, you've got a tucked away toilet as well as a walk-in shower framed wonderfully with a frameless glass panel. Coming across this corridor, you've got this beautiful floor to ceiling glass window and then on the right hand side, bam, second room, here we are, let me close this door as this leads into your ensuite bathroom. Now, this bedroom along as with all the bedrooms in this house give you those 180 degrees of the sea and they've done it so wonderfully because they've almost jutted out the bedroom so that you can get that 180 degrees and it is a beautiful view even on a cloudy day like this. But Right behind me, cupboard space, plenty of it, double bed fits in here easily, so you know there'll never be any problems with space, as well as table and a couch. Really is nicely done in terms of area usage. But behind this door, we've got your ensuite bathroom. So let's open this up and take a look at it. Now, your ensuite bathroom has much of the features you come to expect and love of a house of this caliber. That is your double vanity, beautiful taps, stunning mirror, under counter storage again with that frosted glass, walk-in shower framed by frameless glass and then on the left hand side you've got your toilet, floating toilet, hidden cistern as well as some beautifully placed mirrors and windows looking outwards while still being frosted letting in that light that ensuite bathrooms soft and crave. And right here, before we move onto the master suite, we come into a bar area slash office area. This is located on the front left-hand corner of the house and it gives you the most spectacular views of the ocean as well as of Table Mountain, Signal Hill, Lion's Head and Devil's Peak that I think you could ever, ever ask for. But here we are, bar right here, windows all around the two of the walls, plenty of space for you to get your party on. This mixed with the bar downstairs shows you that this house really does cater so much to entertainers. As I'd mentioned, this can also function as an office. Because of all the space here, you can go absolutely wild, let your imagination run wild and do what you like. Air conditioning in all of the rooms and then these doors, frameless, slide open and stack together so you can utilize this balcony. And let me see the view from this corner over here. And here we go, the creme de la creme, absolutely incredible, the master suite. Take a look at the views behind me, but let's talk about what comes first. As soon as you walk into the room, on the right hand side, you've got your very own walk-in closet with plenty of cupboard space that continues around the wall over here. As you can see, more closets right there, massive wall there for all of you TV lovers. And a really cool feature here for people who love their pets is we've got a door that opens out onto your own balcony, but there is an inbuilt pet door at the bottom. So if you've got cats, if you've got dogs and you want to keep them in the room overnight, you know that out there is exactly where they get to do whatever they need to do. But this room is massive. Air conditioning, as I've mentioned, high ceilings, 
really this king bed fits in without a hitch and just in front of me you'll find your ensuite master bathroom. Now, just before I walk into the master suite, what I'd like to mention is this house has home automation. You'll find one downstairs as well as one right next to the bed. So if you want to control anything, if you want to let your guests in, if you want to handle your music, that's done through there. But walking into the bathroom, you will see the wood flooring. That warm wood flooring gives way into these massive tiles and that helps space out this bathroom then. Like all the other bathrooms in the house, we have got the double vanities, the frosted glass, under counter storage, and then on my right hand side, an even bigger walk-in shower. Floating toilet with a hidden cistern, but on my left hand side, I think that is the crown jewel of this bathroom, and that is because of these two windows here, letting you take a bath and enjoy living in Cape Town. You come down to Cape Town to live the lifestyle, to have the beachfront, to have the views, and this home has just that stunning views all the way across of the ocean. It must be divine. And there you have it folks, this home has been wrapped up. We've showcased everything that makes this home as incredible as it is. And for 11,490,000 rand, I doubt you'll be able to find anything that matches this quality ever again. So what do you need to do next? You need to contact Warren Leslie at Remax Bloberg to schedule a viewing at your time and place. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it. So for myself, Chad Viveros, the team at the Home Shopper Show, as well as everybody at Private Property, the Cape Town tour continues. Tomorrow we're in Stellenbosch, as well as Cape Town City Centre. So tune in Mondays and Fridays. We love you all, and goodbye.